just want to pull the covers up over my head and never come out. Can I come, too? Depends. Does company love misery? You betcha. But you shouldn't be miserable, you know. We both know Holly needed help, and she wasn't going to get it on her own. Yeah, but I practically had to force her into checking herself into that clinic. Yes, and she's going to thank you later, because, you know, it is one of the most successful and private rehabs in the country. Yeah, well, it still doesn't make me feel any better. We have a duty to keep Holly off the streets until she's well. Yeah. Off the streets? It's like she's the psychopath. She has problems, Blake. Yeah. And she's hurt people. Including you, I know that. But it's still, it's so hard to send her away like that. I, you asked me to be quiet about her, her being a stalker, and I will. But we cannot let this go on, can we? Huh? Thank you. Hmm. Thank you for being strong and, and helping me. And thank you for keeping this secret, too. Your secrets are my secrets. You don't have to thank me for that. Well, it means a lot to me, and I, I wasn't sure. You can trust me. I'm in for the long haul here, huh? I know. And hopefully when Mom gets sober and she leaves the, the clinic... Well, why don't realize... we worry about that when we get there? I would trust you with anything. It's okay. You can handle it. It's okay. It's fine. It's just what I need. There's no Ben Warren in here. There's no bad mothers. It's just... It's just gonna be some time to relax. Get away from everybody and everything. Have some fresh air. There's bars on the windows. It's okay. It's okay. Don't panic. It's not like it's prison. You can leave whenever you want. What is this? Hey! Hello? Is anybody out there? I'm locked in here! Oh, oh thank God. I was locked in. Hello, Holly. I'm Marge Thompson. I'm your personal counselor. Somebody should do something about that door. I was locked in here. Why don't you have a seat? We have some things to talk about. What is this? Why is there, why is there blood on this rack? Oh, please don't say anything, Mother. Please, please don't give me away. Well, I was just cleaning up in the kitchen under the sink and this old rag was there you know stuffed under the sink and i i guess i dropped it on my way to the garbage what's what's but a bloody rag doing underneath the sink i don't know i, I was so surprised i thought maybe you cut yourself or no i yeah vanessa frank what a surprise Matt? frank so i'm looking for diana have you seen her is there a problem um you don't know Know what? Dinah shot Hart Jessup tonight. Oh, my God. But as far as we know, she's still on the run. Hey, I got the message from Josh. What happened? She shot him. Dinah shot Hart. Oh, my God. Why? Why not? She's nuts. Well, how is he? He's been in surgery for the last few hours. Uh -huh. Was well, there any word? Okay. Listen to me. He's going to be all right. This whole thing is going to be okay. That's what I've been trying to tell her. Well, you know what? Heart is a lot stronger than a little piece of metal. He's going to pull through this. He's going to be good as new. Three. I just heard the news. Is it true? It was Dinah. She's in a whole lot of trouble, Ross. No, it must have been an accident. It had to be. It was no accident. She pulled the trigger. And she almost killed him. And I hope she rots in hell for it.
Dinah would not have shot Hart on purpose. She couldn't have. No, she was trying to kill me. He jumped in front of me. I don't believe that. It's not possible. Why don't you ask Hart that, if it was possible or not? Well, how did it happen? I mean, what led up to it? I need to know the facts. Ross, please, for once, try not to be a lawyer. I'm not. I just need to understand. I think it's just Dinah has been ready to snap for a while. Yeah. Now, you listen to me. I know that she was... She was upset. She was depressed. I had no idea it had come to this. Did the police have her in custody? She took off. No one knows where she is. Oh, no. You still think it was an accident? Did anybody call Blake, tell her what happened to her brother? Lillian's been trying to call her, but there hasn't been any answer. Blake has got to know about this. Hey, Ross. I'm so sorry. How are you? I don't know. I think I'm in shock. Is there anything I can do? Just let me use the phone. Sure. Okay, is, is he gonna make it, please? Would you just tell me what's going on? Hey, Cassie, we need to talk. You shouldn't worry about your mom. They're gonna take good care of her, you know. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I'd like to call her, just check on her and see how she's doing. We, should, we just left there. Give her some time. Give yourself some time. Okay. Huh? All right, all right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, the boys. I haven't checked on them all day. I, I better call Mega. I already did. What? I called from the rest stop. What, well, what did you tell her? Well, I told her there was an emergency and could she take them for just another night. Was she okay with that? Yeah, yeah. She said they were already tucked in. See? <laughs> huh? Well, okay. Uh, you know, for a man who's never been a father, you sure are good about that. Thinking of everything. Well, somebody has to. Yeah. Beverage? Sure. <laughs> you know, it's been a tough day, but I think you're going to come through with flying colors. Think I'm out of my mother's will yet? <laughs> Drink this. Mm. Instant relaxation. Uh, what are you doing? If you have to ask that, then we're in trouble. I think that it is now time for me to take care of you. Did you enjoy your dinner? It's fine. Good. You let me know if you have any problems. The locked door is a problem. Well, we'll see what we can do. Is, are all your rooms like this? I thought I could watch some TV tonight. I want to see the news. I don't think that's a good idea tonight. Well, I run a newspaper, and I need to see the news. I understand, but why don't we worry about you getting better? Oh. Is this where the therapy starts? Do you feel like talking? If you want me to. How many people are in the group? Excuse me? The group session. How many other drunks are there? We run things a little differently, Holly. No groups. Mm. What does AA say about that? We only have seven patients here right now. You'll meet them eventually. But for now, why don't you make this try to feel like your home? Home? There's bars on the windows. For your own protection, of course. So, so what's going to happen in this home? We're going to make you feel much, much better. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to take care of my drinking problem? We'll talk about that, among other things. What other things? I thought I, I'm here because I am an alcoholic. From what I understand, it's a bit more than that. What do you mean? This, this is an alcohol rehab center, right? We treat all kinds of problems here, Holly. And I've been told you have a number of them. Oh, please, Mother, please keep your 
about the shot. Please don't say anything. Dinah? Oh, shot hard? That, that's, that's crazy. I'm sorry, Vanessa, but it's true. Cassie Lane witnessed the whole thing. I don't believe it. I mean, Dinah would never shoot anybody. I'm sorry, but she did. Vanessa, we're right in the middle of an investigation right now, and believe me, it doesn't look too good that she just ran away. I guess it doesn't. Yeah, let me tell you something. If Dinah doesn't turn herself in, we have to consider her a fugitive. Now, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did um, Cassie say anything, you know, I'm... about how it happened or, or, you know, what kind of an accident I'm not at liberty to tell you anything right now. Well, I don't believe it. I, I just don't, Frank. Dinah loves hard, and she would never shoot him. Vanessa, I can't share any of the details right in the middle of an investigation here, okay? But I'm going to ask you right now, please, to help me if you can. I don't know anything. Well, well, well how's hard doing? Yeah, I'm... Andy, he's going to make it, isn't he? She shot him in the chest. He's in critical condition right now. Oh, my God. Vanessa, I suggest that you help me find your daughter. Because if oh. Hart dies, she's up for murder. He made it through surgery. Hey, there. I told you he could do it. Well, when can she see him? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, we, we've stopped the bleeding, but he's not out of the woods yet. He, he's stable, but he's still critical. What do you mean? Cassie, there's been some internal damage, and it's difficult for us to assess how bad that damage is right now. Is it his heart? It's his heart. No. Yeah, well, we, we found a bullet that that was lodged very close to his heart, and he, he's at risk. And the bullet's still inside of him? Yes. Now, I have a cardiac surgeon coming in. He's very, very good. When heart gets a little stronger, he's gonna go in there, and he's gonna take that bullet out, okay? But he's okay We're right now. He's watch okay him for very, now. very, very closely. What am I gonna do? You're gonna sit here and you're gonna wait for him to get better. That's right. Will. I mean, you heard what Rick said. He's he's strong and he's stable. The worst is over, Cassie. I want to see him. He just got out of surgery. I need to see him. He's unconscious. He needs to get I some just rest. can't yeah. sit here and wonder, Rick, okay? I'm going crazy. I just want to hold his hand. even called to check on Hart's condition? Not that I know of, Russ. Oh, Lillian. How could she do something like this? I don't know. I really don't know. But have you gotten hold of Blake? No, it is still busy. She must have taken it off the hook. No, one of those little boys of yours probably knocked it off. The boys are with Maida. Well, if they're with Maida, I can assure you she did not take that phone off the hook because no mother would ever do that when her children are in someone else's care. Unless she wanted to take it off the hook. It's a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I think stabilizing him, you know, stopping the bleeding, that's got to be the most important thing, right? I just don't know what Cassie would do without him. I mean, they were finally free to be together. Let's not even think about that. No. Deal. I need some coffee. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. Okay, fine, thanks. I'll be back. It's me, Susan, Daisy. You have to help me. Cassie, I still don't think it's a good idea that you see him right now. I really appreciate this. I, uh, I won't stay long, I promise. Right. I want you to keep in mind everything that he's been through. All right? In all likelihood, he's not going to regain consciousness tonight. I don't care. I just want him to know that I'm here and that he's got to come back to us. He has to come back to us.
question. Rick says your, um, your blood pressure is stabilized, so I guess that's good. If they're bringing in um, a really good doctor to remove the bullet so you can be perfect again. Because I need you to be perfect again for me. I need you to be perfect again for me. Because you have a family now. And you have to come back to us. I want you to remember the good times. Because that's what I'm holding on to. You gotta hold on. Please, heart, don't give up. I can't do this by myself. specialist. Uh, a cardiologist? The bullet? Apparently the bullet was very close to the heart, but Rick couldn't get it. Oh, Frank, I... I was so shocked. It's so horrible. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I... Bess, are you sure you can't help me with Dinah's whereabouts? If I knew where she was, I would tell you. And I would certainly tell her to give herself in. I mean, so she could, she could say her side of the story. I mean, there's got to be an explanation. I think you should know something. I put an APB out for her for attempted murder. Oh, Frank, Dine is not dangerous. Vanessa, she shot a man. I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to warn you one more time. If you know where she is, please tell me. I don't know where she is. Okay. Fine. Right. Good night. Keep us posted, Frank. Yep. Where's Dinah? I know she was here. What? Dinah? Where is she? You heard what I just said to Frank? Yeah, I heard you lied to Frank, but I saw the bloody rag, remember? Well, that was just a... Vanessa, don't, don't even do that. Don't even try to do that with me. That was fresh blood. I know the difference. You know perfectly well that Dinah would never come here. Never. She's too angry with me. You know, it's bad enough you're lying to Frank, but now you're lying to me. You know, if you can't even tell me the truth, what the hell are we doing here? Tell me what I need to know exactly what kind of place this is. I mean, what the hell? This is not what, what we expected. Just calm down, Holly. No, I can't calm down. If I'm if I'm in the wrong place, I need I have a right to know. You are definitely in the right place, but you have to give us a chance. Well, a chance for what? To mess with my brain? Holly, I think you'll come to like it after a time. What time? 28 days. That's all you get. That's enough to dry out. 20 days and not an hour more. You shouldn't set limits. No, this is voluntary. If I want to be here, I will be here. And if I choose to leave, then I can leave. You're not helping yourself, Holly. No, you're right. I'm not helping myself by being here. So that's why I'm going to call my daughter and she's going to get me into another more appropriate place. So could... So where's the phone? I'm afraid that's against our policy. No phone calls. You're going to deny me a phone? You can receive phone calls once a week, but not the other way around. This is ridiculous. I feel like I'm in jail here. You're not getting 28 hours, 28 days. I'm, le I'm leaving. What do you think you're doing? I'm getting out of here. I don't think you understand, Holly. You can't leave. You are beginning to relax. Well, I think huh? you've got my shoulders pried off from my ears, so... It's a start. Huh. It's really heavy bearing the weight of the world on your back. So dump it. Let somebody else carry it. Yeah. Oh, wow. It is a relief knowing that mom's somewhere where she can get some help. 
Yeah. And you don't have to be the one giving it. Huh? Thank you. Thank you for helping her get into the clinic because I know that they wouldn't have accepted her without a word from you. Well, I did it for her. I did it for you. But, I, you know, I did it for us because we have to move on from this. Absolutely. Huh? I want to start our new life. I want to start our new life right now. Oh, I think it's already started and we don't have to look back, do we? Why would we want to? <laughs> mm. Mm. Nice. Don't, 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 Dinah was the one who shot him. Now, your brother has stabilized, but he's still in ICU. Nobody knows where D Dinah is? No, I'm going to stop back at the hospital, and then i got to go find her. <sighs> it's my dad. You have to help me. We have talked about this, honey. If you would just try... No, listen to me. He, he could never understand this. Only a mother could. Okay, what's the problem? Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, you know, and we have this big dance. And it's my first one, and... So what, boy troubles already? No, no. Clothes. And Dad won't even buy me a new dress. Well, honey, maybe he's right. I mean, you probably have a closet full of things. No, not the right kind. I can't wear the same clothes that I wear to school, to the dance. Honey, if you would just... You know I can't. Harley, my life will be over. Okay. I understand. You do? Really? Listen to me. I understand how you feel. That's what I'm saying, but... I am in the hospital right now with a very good friend of mine. I can't talk about this right now. I will call you first thing in the morning. Promise. I absolutely promise, okay? Thanks so much, Harley. Well, I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Good night, Daisy. Daisy? Oh, Reva, you Did you say me. Daisy? D your Daisy? Uh, Dylan's Daisy? My, my granddaughter Daisy? That Daisy? Reva. She came to town to find me right after the holidays, and we spent some time together. Well, I think that's really wonderful for you, but were you ever going to tell me? Oh, yes, of course, but, you know, Josh wasn't well, and then Jenna died, and it just never seemed like the right time. I, I know I should have told you. Yeah, I, I wish you had. I know, but it, things were very complicated also. That's, that's the other thing. See, she... She had run away from her, her dad, her adopted Why? father. Why? Well, not to mention the fact that she's almost a teenager. I mean, yeah. I get that, but... Well, it's a little bigger than that. Her mother died last year, and she's been having trouble dealing with that. Oh, my God. Her father is really a very nice guy. It's just, I think she was missing, you know, a mother figure in her life. So she came to find mommy number two. <laughs> I think so. Oh, wow. I'm sure her father was thrilled about that. Yeah. Well, I think, I think he felt I was trying to take her away from him. Were you? No, of course not. It really was. I mean, I love her. She, I gave birth to her, but he's her father. He raised her. What does Philip think about the whole thing? Well, Philip, you know, Philip was very supportive at first. Mm -hmm. Now he thinks that we kind of need a little space. He thinks I'm setting myself up to get hurt. Well, you may be. What do you think? I think that now that I have finally found her, I'm not letting her go again. So you haven't told Philip that you're talking to her? No, I'm sorry. 
that I didn't tell you. Don't about, don't right. worry about it, really. I mean, it. But next time, I mean, when there is a, a good time, would you please? You tell will me. meet her whenever the time is. You absolutely will meet her. Just be careful, though. Really, I mean, trust me. Keeping secrets from the man you love is always a big mistake. What did we do to deserve this? I mean, did we step on some karmic toes or something? Because all I know is that when I look at you, I see... I see everything that I've wanted my entire life. And I feel you falling away from me, and all I can do is just hold on. I remember the first time we met. <laughs> and I spilled my drink on you. Oh, that should have been a sign for things to come. And I gotta tell you, you were a real pain. But there you were helping me get Tammy back. Put yourself on the line to help someone you barely knew. myself falling in love. And then I knew that my life would never be right without you. And here we are. We have we have a brand new baby boy. And you know what? When you wake up, I'm gonna bring him in here. I'm gonna bring him in here. And you've got to start looking good because you've got to show him that you're invincible, that he's got an invincible daddy. Because you've got so many things to teach him, Hart. You do. And you're not going to miss anything, okay? You're not going to miss RJ's first step. You're not going to miss Tammy's junior prom. You're not going to miss Peter's wedding. And speaking of weddings, we have a wedding that we have to plan, too. So I want you to wake up hard. I want you to wake up and I want you to look at me and I want you to tell me. I want you to tell me that you can't wait to plan our wedding. She was here tonight, Vanessa. Just admit it. I hated lying to you. Yeah, but you did, didn't you? I didn't think you would understand. Or maybe you just didn't trust me, huh? No, I thought you would turn her in. Well, I think I'd have a pretty good reason to turn her in, Vanessa. She shot somebody. Matt, it was an accident. Is that what she said? Yes, that's what she said, and I believe her. Just like you believed her about the fire, and just like you believed her about the pregnancy, and just like you Well, you her. never believe her, not even when she is telling the truth. The truth? What truth? Frank said Cassie saw the whole thing. Well, I don't care. I don't care. Cassie would love to see her pay. I, I mean, you know, Frank doesn't know the truth. Cassie doesn't know the truth. And neither do you. I know that she would never hurt Art. She loves him. Yeah, and she couldn't have him, so maybe she figured no one else should. Don't say that. Don't say that. You're just saying that because you don't like her. And you're only protecting her because you feel guilty about giving her up when she was a child. It's not fair. She's sick, Vanessa. You said it yourself. She would never intentionally hurt somebody. She never would. If she wasn't your daughter, would you be so sure about that? But she is my daughter, and I'm going to protect her come hell or high water. You want her to be on the run for the rest of her life? I just want to protect my baby. Turn her in or I will. No, you can't do that. Call Frank I now. won't call you Frank. You got no choice. I'm not going to do it and you can't make me do it. Tell me where she is and I'll do it. I'll tell you where she is. 
where she is. She's here. Oh, thanks, Lauren. What a crazy night. <laughs> what a crazy year. No, it's too early to call it a bad year. I don't know. I've never seen a year so out of whack as this one. I mean, no one's where they're supposed to be. Oh, you got a point there. What's on your mind? I'm just thinking about everybody. You know, I'm thinking about poor Hart in there, fighting for his life, all because of what Dinah did. And why would Dinah, what would make her spin out of control mm -hmm. like this? I still can't figure that one out. You know, Rick, I've been thinking a lot lately about you kids. Kids? <laughs> Did you just call me a kid? You're, you're a big grown-up doctor, but <laughs> you'll always be best prom day to me, and Philip and Beth will always be... The love story that was never supposed to end. Yeah. I know I'm clinging to the past, but really, I wish that Philip and Beth and Lizzie could be Carl's a family again. Pregnant, no, I know she's again. pregnant. But look it, I'm going to tell you this. Oh, part of me, a tiny part of me, maybe it was a big part of me, really, really wanted to believe that Harley was just a, a step in the path of Philip going back to Lizzie and Beth. That's terrible, isn't it? No, there's nothing terrible about, uh, you know, wanting what's best for your daughter. It's normal. It wasn't my daughter. It's Lizzie I'm worried about. I mean, this year has been so awful for her. And now I'm so afraid she's going to get lost in the shuffle of Philip's new life. I mean, he has a new wife, he has a new baby. Does Lizzie know about Harley being pregnant? Not yet. Philip hasn't told her. He hasn't told her? Oh, my God. This has been a horrible year for her. <laughs> you know what we need to do? You and I need to plan a special day for Lizzie. That's what we need to do. All right. You're so sweet. Oh, You're so no, good. It's important for her to feel important, right? I mean, there's plenty of people that, that care about her. I know that. I know they do. But I, I get scared when I see what happened to Dinah, yeah. you know? And I, I think a lot about the mistakes that Philip and Beth's parents made that hurt their life. And I, I just don't want Lizzie to suffer the way they suffered. What do you mean I can't leave? I can leave if I want to. This is a free country. Hospitals are not democracies. Don't touch me, leave me alone. I know how hard this is. But what do you know? <laughs> Holly, please calm down. Let's talk this out. I don't want to talk it out. I want to get out of here. And if you don't let me leave, I'm going to write an editorial that's going to sink this place. What are you doing? I think Mrs. Reed needs to calm down a bit. What's he doing? What are you going to do to me? Just something oh, no. to help you relax. What? What's in there? You can't do this. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Let me go. Let me go. No, 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 no. This, this is not, you can't do this. You can't get somebody drugs in a rehab center. What are you doing? It's going to be all right, Holly. I want you to come. I want to talk to my daughter. I want to talk to somebody. You can't do this to me. Everything is going to be just fine. Oh, Mr. Warren has taken care of everything. Mr. Warren! You don't have to worry about a thing. Not the outside world. No one will ever know you're in here. Ah, Mr. Warren knows all about this. Mr. Warren did this to me. I'm not, I'm not exactly lying. <laughs> Philip, I'm not. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> you know, she needs me. Susan needs me. As much as you need her. You should see this kid. She is quite a scrapper. Well, of course she is. <laughs> you do not want to be in the room when she is mad. <laughs> Oh, she sounds like somebody I'd like to get to know. Well, she sounds like somebody I do know. She's like you. Oh, She's well, million. takes one to know one. She's getting it from both sides. You know, when everything calms down, well, I'm going to ask her to come for a visit. That way she can meet the whole family. Well, that would be a lovely thing. <laughs> and in the meantime... Um... Baby. <laughs> She's beautiful. She is. You are not old enough to be her grandmother, I'll tell you that. Oh, well, you have to remember that I was, you know, six and a half when I had Dylan. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so I was six and three quarters. <laughs> Rick, 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 Rick. 
Yeah. Where is he? How is I, he? It's too early to say. He's got, he's got a very long road ahead of him. Oh, wait. Kind of ironic, don't you think? All the concern you had about my influence over the twins. Look at the job you've done fathering. This is a tragedy for Hart and for Dinah. It is not about you and your endless game, so don't even think about trying to hold it over me. She's been here the whole time. I couldn't turn her in. You put this whole family in danger to protect her? Vanessa, do you have any idea what the police would have done to you if they'd known you were harboring a fugitive? Do you have any idea? I'm sorry, Matt. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. Where is she? Is she upstairs? No. Where is she? She's in there. Dinah? Dinah? The door's open. She's gone. What? Did she say anything about leaving town? No. She's not there? No. Oh, God. I don't know what she's going to do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna fight this together, okay? And I just want you to rest. I just want you to rest because you're gonna need your strength because you're gonna come home because we have a family to raise. I know. I know. I love you too. been Guiding Light. Tonight on the CBS Evening News, we'll show you how school kids found a way to buy freedom for victims of the slave trade later.